Now we're going to see the rostral. Rostral. Um, cerebellar or vermal syndrome. Here there is damage of the anterior lobe. The anterior lobe is the one that contains the the cerebellar vermis. So anterior anterior lobe. That means rostral on the cerebellum. The patient would present because it is damage to the vermis that controls the troncal uh, coordination. There would be ataxia, gait ataxia, specifically troncal ataxia. And the patient would um, sometimes not be able to um, stay sit. So we will see this ataxia on the seated position or the tripod position. Also, we will see hypotonia. Remember that for hypotonia, we can test this with the Holmes uh, manner, the or maneuver, the one in which uh, the doctor puts the hand here and uh, suddenly let it go and the patient does this but would not have this compensation of returning back. The patient would hit the patient itself, for that the doctor puts the hand anyway. Um, uh, additionally, the ataxia would be seen as a, low, a high amplitude, amplitude ataxia because the leg would be very open and the patient would be um, falling to the, let's say, could be anteropulsion or retropulsion, but not to the one side or other because here is damage to the vermis, the, the central part. The nystagmus um, would be infrequently. It is not very common to see that. Uh, so on the rostral vermis syndrome, we have a wide gait ataxia, uh, ataxia on the seated position on the resting position and hypotonia.